I'm working on today is creating this banner ad for my customer. My name is Sarah Spencer. My company has got clicks and I teach people how to build and market websites affordably. And I'm going to show you how I created this banner ad for my customer reachthemark.com. So let's get busy. What I want to do is create a banner ad for one of my clients reachthemark.com. They want to promote the um, Get, hit your goals in 2010 or 2010 you own it is the name of their program so I'm going to use some of the techniques that I actually saw from geeky artist wonderful videos out here um, and specifically I'm going to use the flame technique that's showcased in geeky artists um, GIMP programs making your wallpapers and how to make a banner on GIMP just some excellent excellent videos that um, geeky artist does so let's get busy with this the first thing that I'm going to do is click on File, New, and choose my banner size, which is 600 by 100 for this particular client. So I have my background, and I'm going to use Geeky Artist's tool of Render, Nature, and Flame. So once that opens up, there's lots of different um, ways that you can edit this. And I encourage you to see Geeky Artist's video because they do a great job with it. So I'm going to hit OK. And you can see that this burst shows up on my screen. Next thing I want to do is I want to put my text up here. And this is 40 pixels. It's Clarity Gothic. I might actually use another font that might have a little more excitement to it. I'm thinking of impact. Then I hit close. Now I want to have that layer copied several times so I'm just going to hit control L on my keyboard and this box down below copies it so I'm going to copy it one, two, three times and I move the original to the top of the frame and then hit close. Now I'm ready for another text box, so I'll hit the text tool again, and I'm going to bring this out here, and I want it smaller, I don't want it 40, I want it 20, and I'm going to change the font back to clarity, because I want these two fonts to be very different from each other. So I have clarity, I'm actually going to change it to 30 pixels, and it's reach your mark guaranteed. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Hit Control L and I'm going to copy it three times. One, two, three. And move the original to the top. And close the window. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to put a sparkle of frost on b behind the 2010 you own it just to really make it pop. So what I do is I hit control L and I'm going to select my original 2010 you own it and then close this window. So I've selected it I'm going to use my my cursor and go under filters and alpha to logo and frosty. I'm going to leave the background color black. I keep my pixels at 40 and I'm going to hit OK. Great. So that's what I want. Now what I want to do is I want to tie all of my layers together. So in order to do that I have to hit control L on my keyboard to look at my layers. I want my words to be tied together. So I'm going to stop start at the very top and I click the layer I want to start with first so make sure it's highlighted and then I'm going to add merge down. So I will continue to do this on each of my layers that has words in it. And again, I'm just highlighting the words. I'm not highlighting any of the um, other layers. Okay, so what I'm left with once I've done all that is I have my background one, my sparkle, my matte, my shadow, and my original background that has the starburst. Perfect. That's just what I wanted. Now I'm ready to animate the whole smash. 
So I go under Filters, Animation, Blend, and I want this to go pretty slow because I want people to be able to read it. Let me start at 20 and see how that renders. Okay, so it rendered. Now I can go into Filters, Animation, and Playback. And it's going to open a third window somewhere over here and then I just hit play. And there's my banner. If I wanted to shade faster, which I think I do, I'll just go back here. I can close these windows out. No, I won't save the changes. And I'm just simply going to go into filters, animation, blend, and this time instead of 20 I might take it to 10 and see how that looks. And again I'm going to go under filters, animation, and playback. And I click play. And that's the way we do it. And once I'm ready, if I like this, I can hit File, Save As. And I want this as a GIF so that I can save it up on the website. And I'm going to call this Reach the Mark 2010 Banner GIF. And I need to put it into the folder that I want to put it into. Now it's going to ask you merge visible layers or save as an animation. I definitely want to save it as an animation and then I hit export. And here, because I want search engines to find us, I might put reach the mark.com business coaching Erica Marks. Goal setting. Anything I can think of, 2010 goals. And then I hit save. And this will automatically play on her website. So I hope this helps you. And Geeky Artists, my hat's off to you. Thank you so much for your great tutorials. Keep them coming. And I just wanted to give you credit because you inspired me to make something for my client. And I'm so grateful. I hope this is helpful to you folks and pass it on.